Welcome to Daily Cigar, I am Lizardo Vivas and today I've decided to create a video to answer a question that I get asked quite often, especially after doing a cigar review here on YouTube or over on Instagram. I always get asked, Lizardo, how do you do it to be able to taste all of those flavors, all of those profiles in a cigar? And by all means, I am not an expert, but I have over half a decade of experience in the cigar industry and I've done a lot of courses and a lot of research and studying about tobacco and cigars. But most importantly is that I've had the opportunity to speak to a lot of sommeliers, a lot of master blenders, a lot of factory owners, and people who were born in the tobacco industry. You know that maybe the fathers were already the owner of the factory or uh, the father was already a master blender for so and so. So what I've noticed and, and I've realized is that experience means a lot, counts for a lot in the cigar world. And I've managed to put a list of techniques, tips and tricks that I use myself to be able to achieve and be able to enjoy cigars the way that I do. So if you stay to the end of the video and then you put all of these techniques and, and, and tips to work when you're actually smoking yourself, I'm sure this will elevate your smoking experience to another level. To explain this, I thought it'd be better to break up the video in two stages. The first stage will be understanding how the brain builds up a flavor profile. Then the second stage will be sharing the techniques and tips so that you're able to pick up the, those flavors and those profiles when you're smoking. When we think about taste, we normally think that it comes from the tongue. Whatever hits the tongue, that's the flavor that we're going to get. But we're wrong because the nose has a lot to do with it. There are a lot of nerves in the nose that pick up smell, scent. And what happens is that that information that the nose picked up, those scent that the nose picked up, plus the taste that your tongue picked up, it all goes to your brain and then your brain builds up a, a profile and appreciates, it tells you what flavor you are actually tasting. Thousands of tiny taste buds cover most of the tongue surface. A taste bud contains several types of taste receptors. Each type detects one of the five basic tastes, sweet, salty, sour, bitter, and savory, also called umami. Two taste receptors have to be activated for the tongue to detect sweet flavors. And this makes it very difficult for the flavors to be successfully replicated in a cigar. But you might find some cigars have notes of honey or maybe dark sugar. Well, these are mostly your olfactory nerves picking it up. So it is mostly a smell, a scent of sugar instead of a taste of sugar, unless if what you're smoking are flavored cigars. These, these are not natural flavors from the tobacco. These, these are just cigars that could have sugar artificially added to give that cigar that sweet taste. Many Cuban cigars have a slightly salty taste, and that's due to the fact that the Cuban soil contains a high concentration of lithium, which is close to sodium. So it's to do with the terroir, which means that it could also be found in cigars from other regions with similar soils to the Cuban soil. And it is said that the Gloria Cubana will develop a salty note when aged. It is very common to find bitter notes on your cigar. And although you might associate the word bitter with an unpleasant taste, in cigars when done properly and well combined with other flavors, these bitter notes could be considered notes of coffee, chocolate, and even citrus. This receptor is activated by amino acids found in meat and cheeses. So sometimes you can smoke a cigar and find that it has meaty or savory taste. This is the umami receptors sending the information to the brain. The tongue is built so that it picks up those five main flavor profiles. But as we know, there is a plethora of flavors and profiles out there. So let's see how the nose helps complete and fills up that picture. Unlike the limited five qualities that our tongue can detect, the olfactory system can identify 
hundreds of cents. Therefore, the aroma of a cigar should be given significant importance. When I'm talking about the smell of the cigar, and I, I don't mean it on the smoke that comes out, out of the ends of the cigar or even the smoke that we exhale. Instead, the smell is experienced when the smoke is inhaled into your mouth and then enters your nose. And there is a technique to, to push smoke throughout your nose to make that experience more pronounced and help your nose pick up those flavors. And together with your tongue, that's how you pick up those exquisite flavor profiles that I talk about on my reviews. After you exhale the smoke and you're taking a break from puff, there are always, you know, a couple of minutes that that flavor lingers into your mouth and it will mix with saliva, with oxygen when you breathe in or when you talk. This aftertaste is the last key aspect of fully enjoying a cigar. Some of the flavors you can find in the finish are coffee, chocolate, licorice, and even minerals. Now is a great time to hit that subscribe button. If you've stayed in the video this far and you're finding it useful, hit the subscribe, share it with your friends. I have many more videos like this in the channel, so make sure you hit it and let's continue with some techniques. We now know how the brain processes the information that it picks up from the tongue and the nose. And if you're a cigar smoker, you might be thinking, well, the flavor profiles in a cigar are not that punchy, they're not that strong. And that's why a lot of people struggle to pick up any notes. These tricks, this part of the video, this stage of the video is where I'm gonna share with you the tips and techniques that you can use to be able to, to make those notes a little bit more pronounced or, or, or much easier for your nose and your tongue to pick up. This is a technique that needs to be done before you light the cigar. And all you have to do is cut your cigar and take a couple of puffs. When, it's, when the cigar is not lit, it's much easier as well to push the air around your mouth and through your nose. But it gives you a little preview. Sometimes you can pick up some of those peppery notes, maybe some hay, some tobacco notes. It also prepares your tongue and your nostrils to what is coming. This is where I see most people going wrong. Because if you want to really taste the flavors of a cigar, you need to take your time with it. You need to take it slow. And the reason why we keep cigars at a certain humidity and a certain temperature is to keep those oils on the tobacco leaf alive. As soon as that cigar dries, those oils will evaporate and then there won't be no much of a taste on it. If you burn the cigar when you're lighting it, what that's gonna do is create basically charcoal and it's gonna damage the oils and the leaf and all you're gonna be smoking is, is charred tobacco. The way to do it is toasting it. When you toast the cigar, you're gonna heat it slowly. The tobacco will come to temperature and in a, a, a slowly and a good temperature so that those oils slowly start to build up, start to release all of the flavors that you're able then to pick up on the smoke when you, when you take a puff. Remember that cigars get their flavors, their profiles, from the terroir, from the, from the minerals and the soil. So it is a very complex and very delicate process. So take your time, toast the cigar, keep it, keep the lighter away from the cigar and just use the heat. That would be enough to light your cigar. If you see the way that I do it, you know, you keep a good distance. I like to keep my cigar at an angle, the lighter at a different angle and just that way you're able to see where the flame is hitting the cigar. And here you go. Slowly, just take your time. No need to, you know, be creating these big flames and burning the cigar, charring, because all that's gonna do is char the tobacco, destroy the oils, and you're gonna be left just with charcoal to smoke. Take your time. 
maybe blow on it see where you are what spots you're missing i shouldn't have put gas now I should have done it earlier but hey here you go i just i like to fade to have the cigar facing me in this occasion i was doing it for the camera but this is the best way to do it just put the cigar facing you turn it don't just leave the flame in one place just turn the, the flame and there you go perfectly lit cigar without having to put the flame right next to it or make fire come out of the cigar this is another point that goes hand in hand with the toasting of the cigar the idea is to take your time keep it slow keep it cold don't char the cigar don't burn the cigar don't make it hot a good way to do this a good technique that i've learned is you take the cigar to your mouth take it you could take a little draw first but then your second draw count to three keep the smoke in your mouth for another three count and then exhale counting to three again that will slow you down but it will also give your tongue time to pick up those flavors if there's any on that smoke but counting to three when you are taking your puff you're taking a slow but prolonged puff on the cigar which means that it will be kept cool it won't just be a, a big draw with a lot of oxygen going through it will just be gradual very nice to be able to warm up the oils slowly and when you exhale counting to three in the same way your, your the smoke is leaving your mouth very slowly and because you're taking so long your body will naturally breathe and when you breathe some of the smoke from your mouth from the outside some of the scent of the actual tobacco will enter your nostrils and all of this together with the smoke in your mouth as we mentioned before will help your brain build up a a profile of that flavor now this is the technique that a lot of people struggle with some people struggle to explain it other people struggle to do it i think it's very easy all you're doing here is activating your nose helping your nose pick up more of those profiles because instead of just you know smelling the smoke that comes out the front or anything that leaks from your mouth into your nose you're actually going to be pushing a good amount of smoke through your nose and that as we said before and a couple of times now that's what going to help you build the rest of that picture for that profile of flavors that you're trying to to find on a cigar it is quite easy and and i think the best way to, to to start is do it without any smoke take some air in and then breathe through your nose you don't have to do nothing else just in through your mouth out through your nose same thing with cigar you just gotta be careful not to swallow it that's the only tricky thing that i see people getting wrong i'm going to do it with a cigar now very easy now if the cigar is too strong then you might find that your eyes will cry that's okay don't feel bad about yourself next time take less smoke and also you can see that when I take a puff I hold it in my mouth for a little bit before I do the retro help that's because although I'm trying to keep the cigar as cold as possible you can see that I can hold it here it's not burning me the smoke is still warm especially if it's the morning like it is now and your nose troll is still you know not fully awake or the cigar because this is a very light cigar but if the cigar is too strong then it might hit your sinuses and that's what makes you cry so what i like to do is take a draw hold it in my mouth a little bit so that it cools and the adjust it to my body temperature release a little bit of that smoke and then do the retro hair. When a master blender builds a cigar, they put in the leaves inside for the filler, the wrapper, all of this in certain quantities or ratios. Okay. 
Sometimes you find the cigar that is linear and the master blender intended it for it to be same all the way throughout. But most of the cigars out there, in my opinion, they developed not only because the master blender wanted, oh, first, third, second, third, last third to be different. Sometimes they do that, but also because of the heat, because of how far the amber is to your mouth, because of how long the cigar has been burning and all that buildup of oils create is created. So it will naturally evolve. So the way to taste or review a cigar is divided in thirds. You have first third, second third, and last third. That way it's much easier for you to put your to get your head around when you understand how each third works. Using a tasting sheet really helps. And that's because normally these tasting sheets have been created by somebody who already understand how a cigar works and what you're looking for. And it gives you a bit of a guidance, let's say. Because first, that a tasting sheet normally divides a cigar on thirst. That's, it will do it automatically. So you're gonna be going step by step through the tasting sheet, filling it in. So normally you have the name, the brand, and age, the filler, all of the details about the cigar. And then you have the cold draw, which is the one that you do before you light the cigar. Uh, visually, you know, you can assess the cigar visually. What color is it? Is it a Maduro? Is it a Claro? Has it got a lot of veins? Is the wrapper oily? Is it rough? Is it smooth? Is it well packed? All of these are visual. Um, cues that you're able to put in a in a tasting sheet and when it comes to the actual tasting of the cigar it will be divided in thirds like I mentioned in the earlier point then it will tell you okay so what is the uh, flavors aftertaste the, the smell from it what notes you pick up and normally they'll have like a flavor wheel and that's much easier when you're trying to to review a cigar or understand the cigar just for yourself because you have a little bit of a direction of where to go and what are you doing so you don't miss any step and it's easier as well because instead of thinking oh what do i do next or what did i miss this then if you have it written down then you know what's next what was before and it will help you a lot these are just tips that i want to share with you and, and these are things that I've learned, like I said, from, from these master blenders, from sommeliers, that no many books tell you. And that's to try. You need to try as many cigars as you can. Don't just stick to the one and have many experiences. So the reason I say try as many cigars as you can is because if you stick to the same cigar, the same wrapper, the same region, for instance, you only smoke Habanos, but not only that, you only smoke Romeo and Julieta. That's all you do. 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, you've been smoking the same cigar. Well, you haven't experienced enough to build that profile in your brain of memories so that when you smoke something different, so you experience something different, the brain is able to say, okay, so that is chocolate because you ate chocolate, you know, a year ago and this is what chocolate tastes like. So when you smoke the cigar and it tastes like chocolate, you'll be able to make that relation. And trying different cigars helps you do that because they all have different profiles. The more you try, then the more your brain and your tongue will develop as well and your, and, and, and your nose, your sense of smell will develop if you try different cigars. Also experiences, because as I mentioned earlier, if you've never been to a, to a barn, to a farm, then you wouldn't know what manure smells like. You don't know what hay smells like. So next time when you're out and about, pay attention to all of these smells. Next time you go to a restaurant, pay attention to the food that you're eating, the spices that they use. When you're drinking coffee, Pay attention to the flavors of that coffee, the regions. So pay attention to your experiences and the things you try and try a lot. 
that is going to develop your, 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 your sensory systems. It will develop your tongue. It will develop the memories in your brain. And then it will be much easier to pick those up. And well, this is it. This is my tips, techniques. This is what I've learned. And this is how I do it. If you like the video and you've enjoyed it and you found it useful, you probably find useful some of my other videos. So make sure you subscribe. And here I'm going to leave you last week's video and a playlist where you can binge on all of my videos. Share the video, enjoy your cigars, and in the meantime, smoke less, but smoke the best. <laughs>